The spectacular rise of Hyun Chung. With his lightning fast serves and impeccable footwork, Hyun Chung has taken the tennis world by storm. In just a few short years, this young Korean player has transitioned from unknown rookie to international sensation, capturing hearts and headlines along the way. But what makes Chung's meteoric rise so impressive? From his early days on the court to his stunning performances at major tournaments around the globe, let's take a closer look at how Hyun Chung became one of today's most exciting tennis heroes and what we can learn from his amazing journey to tennis success. Who is Hyun Chung? Hyun Chung is a 26-year-old Korean tennis player with a career-high ranking of 18 in the world. He has been hailed as a rising star in the tennis world and has already achieved some impressive results, including reaching the quarterfinals of the Australian Open in 2018. Chung began playing tennis at the age of 6 and quickly showed promise, winning several junior tournaments. He turned professional in 2013 and has since won two ATP Challenger Tour titles. Chung made his Grand Slam debut at the 2017 French Open and reached the third round, defeating world number nine Dominic Thiem en route. At the 2018 Australian Open, Chung caused a major upset by defeating sixth seed Marin Cilic in straight sets in the fourth round. He then went on to reach the quarterfinals, becoming the first Korean player ever to do so at a Grand Slam tournament. Chung's run came to an end when he lost to eventual champion Roger Federer in four sets. Despite his loss to Federer, Chung's performances at the Australian Open earned him widespread praise and launched him into stardom in his home country of Korea. He is now seen as a national hero and an inspiration to aspiring young tennis players everywhere. Hyun Chung's impact on Korean tennis has been nothing short of spectacular. The 26-year-old has quickly become a national hero on the back of his 2018 Australian Open campaign and an inspiration to aspiring young tennis players all over the country. But how did his story begin? Born in Suwon, South Korea on May 11, 1996, Chung began playing tennis at the age of six. His parents were professional badminton players and introduced him to the sport at a young age. He was immediately drawn to tennis and showed great potential from a very early age. At the age of 16, he made his professional debut and rose rapidly through the ranks of Korean junior tennis, winning several national titles. In 2012, he made his professional debut on the ATP Challenger Tour. The following year, he won his first Challenger title and reached a career-high ranking of number 176 in the world. After rising through the ranks of the junior circuit, Chung won the boys singles title at the 2013 Wimbledon Championships. Chung's training routine was known for its intensity and focus on fitness. He often spent hours in the gym and on the court, working on his speed, endurance, and strength. Chung was also known for his strict diet, which included a lot of fruits, vegetables, proteins, and whole grains. Throughout his career, Chung had the support of several coaches and advisors. One of his most prominent coaches was Neville Godwin, a former South African tennis player who has coached several top players, including Kevin Anderson and Alexander Zverev. Under Godwin's guidance, Chung was able to improve his game Game and to achieve some of his best results on the tour. In addition to his coaching team, Chung also had a strong support team that included physiotherapists, trainers, and nutritionists. This team helped him to stay fit and healthy and mentally focused throughout his career. When it comes to playing surfaces, Chung was always known for his versatility. He had a strong all-court game and was comfortable playing on all surfaces, including hard courts, clay courts, and grass courts. However, he had a particular affinity for hard courts and had some of his best results on this surface. One of Chung's biggest achievements was his run to the semi-finals of the 2018 Australian Open, at which, as we've mentioned, he defeated several top players, including Novak Djokovic, before losing to eventual champion Roger Federer. This is the performance that catapulted him to a career-high ranking of number 19 in the world. In 2014, Chung competed in his first Grand Slam tournament at the Australian Open. He qualified for the main draw and went on to reach the third round, where he lost to then world number one, Rafael Nadal. The strong showing confirmed Chung's status as one of Korea's top tennis players and prompted many to predict great things for his future career. And indeed, Chung has gone on to enjoy tremendous successes since then. In 2017, he reached two Grand Slam quarterfinals at the Australian Open and Wimbledon, becoming the first Korean man ever to do so. He also won his first ATP title that year. Chung's accomplishments have made him hugely popular in his home country of South Korea. His success has inspired many youngsters to take up tennis. He's now widely regarded as the best player from Asia, and his success has inspired many other young Koreans to take up the sport themselves. Tennis is now enjoying a surge in popularity in Korea thanks to Chung's trailblazing efforts. But his path to tennis excellence was by no means over in 2017. Chung's biggest breakthrough as we mentioned briefly earlier, came at the 2018 Australian Open, where he reached the semi-finals before losing to eventual champion Roger Federer in straight sets. His performance at the tournament earned him widespread acclaim and cemented his status as one of the best young players in the world. Since then, Chung has continued to enjoy success on the tour, reaching two more Grand Slam
Slam quarterfinals at Wimbledon and the US Open in 2018. He has also won several ATP Tour titles, including back-to-back -back tournaments in March 2019. His recent success, Hyun Chung's recent success, has been nothing short of spectacular. The Korean tennis player has risen to become a force to be reckoned with on the ATP Tour, with winning two tournaments and reaching the semi-finals of the Australian Open in 2018 being just two of the highlights of his imperious competitive journey. His run at the Australian Open was particularly impressive as he became the first Korean player ever to reach the semi-finals of a Grand Slam event. Chung's success has put him in the spotlight and he's quickly becoming a household name in Korea. His fans follow his every move with intrigue and awe and he is sure to continue to make headlines in the years to come. What the future holds for Hyun Chung while it's impossible to say definitively what the future holds for Hyun Chung, there are several factors that suggest he has a very bright future in tennis. But first and foremost, he's still young and he has plenty of room to improve his game. Additionally, he's already shown himself to be a very talented player with a solid all-around game and wins over some of the most elite players the sport has ever known. He's tall and has a big serve. At 6'2", he's at least 6 inches taller than his country's average fellow adult male. Finally, he seems to have the right attitude and approach to his game, adapting his playing style in response to challenges and zeroing in on his opponent's weak spots, which should serve him well as he continues to compete at the highest levels. All of these factors suggest that Hyun Chung has a promising future in tennis. He will likely continue to improve as he gets older and more experienced, and if he can stay healthy, there is no reason why he can't become one of the best players in the world. Chung's career was unfortunately hampered by several injuries, including a back injury that forced him to retire 2018 French Open. He also struggled with a foot injury that kept him out of action for several months throughout 2019. In spite of these setbacks, Chung remained focused and determined, and he continues to work on his game to this day. He's currently ranked outside the top 100, but he's shown glimpses of his potential in recent tournaments. To conclude, Hyun Chung's career teaches us that success in tennis requires not only talent, but also hard work, discipline, a strong support system, and the ability to adapt to different playing services. His dedication to tennis, nutrition, and coaching played a significant role in his success, and his mental resilience and determination helped him to overcome setbacks and to continue to pursue his dreams. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tennis related content. Hyun Chung has become a real inspiration for all tennis players, especially those from Korea. His incredible rise to fame is the result of hard work, perseverance, tenacity and dedication. He's shown that with the right attitude and mindset, you can achieve anything. We hope that this story continues to motivate others to work hard in pursuit of their own dreams. It's an inspiring story for athletes of all ages and backgrounds. His ability to work hard in order to achieve his goals has made him a shining example of what can be accomplished with dedication and talent. His example also serves as a prominent reminder that no matter where you come from, it is possible to break barriers, defy expectations, and become the hero of your own life story. Therefore, let us remember Hyun Chung as we continue striving for greatness, even when faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hit our notification bell so that you're in the loop when we release a new video. Until next time, keep hitting those forehands, friends, and we'll see you on the court.